Hey, Eagles, write your own line. This is Coach Zach. I'm sending your paper right back. We got a plagiarism problem, so you better pick up the slack. Hey, all you Eagles, we're here to make it clear. We got a big problem for what you need to hear. We are thinkers, problem solvers, and rioters too. So when expressing an opinion needs to come from you, you're not Shakespeare or Melville or Henry James. So write something down produced by other names. When you use other words, don't call it your own. It's bad when you use vocabulary that you never know. Yeah, plagiarism. That's what we're talking about. When you write us the thoughts, but you don't have any clout when making an argument or stating your case, man, use your own words. Don't be a disgrace. Now, you can cite, quote, and have a bibliography too, but most of the paragraph really needs to come from you. These authors worked hard, went to school a long time, so don't show up with your Chromebook and try to steal the line. Be original. That's what you came here for. Spread your own wings, eagles. Hi, how would you soar? Take time with your thoughts and don't make haste because you'll never achieve excellence when you copy and paste. Use your own mind. Write your own line. Word. Hey, you out there. This is Coach Zach from the English Department here at Archbishop Shaw High School. And today, all right, we're going to break down our prepositions and prepositional phrases. All right, there's some bars I got spitting for you. This one's called, here comes the prepositional phrase. It's time for English, and I'm going to teach you a lesson. There's one phrase today in which I'll be stressing. That's a kind of word whose job's about relation. I'm teaching prepositions. Man, it's my occupation. Pray up, up, pray up, up. Understand, this is what we're learning. Pray up, up, pray up, up. Yeah, here it comes. Here comes a prepositional, prepositional phrase. Here comes a prepositional, prepositional phrase. It's the phrase you've been waiting for, the phrase with an object. Here comes a prepositional, prepositional phrase. Yeah, it has a preposition and a noun. Words like in, on, by, with, for, around. This phrase doesn't have a verb, but it can be an adjective or an adverb. Check it. Some may call it a prep. Well, y'all just take back a step. Talking about a phrase, I'm not talking about a clause. Now I'm going to break it down for you, all the grammar laws. These words, we begin with a preposition. Ends with a noun like with, from, to, near, by, around. Line up like an adjective or modify the other verbs. Using descriptive words, man, don't get it all confused. Never as a subject has it ever been used. Don't let your interest be fleeting. You're going to learn prepositions if I have to keep repeating. This phrase doesn't have a verb. It can be an adjective or an adverb. Prayer pup, prayer pup, prayer pup, prayer pup, prayer pup, prayer pup. Here comes a prepositional phrase. Y'all, get your prep on. Peace.